السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today إن شاء الله we will be uh, starting with the tafsir of سورة الواقعة uh, سورة الواقعة uh, starts uh, the name of the سورة uh, is another name of uh, al waqia is another name for yawm al qiyamah and we know that yawm al qiyamah has several names al tamma al haqqa al qari'a so each one of these names look at yawm al qiyamah from a different perspective from a different angle and inshallah we will be talking more about the surah in general after we finish the uh, tafsir of uh, the surah so we start, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ida waqa'ati al-waqi'a. So when we all come back again after death, when we come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is a promise that Allah has uh, given us. There will be a day of judgment. There will be a day that everyone is going to be uh, back in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all people or actions, everything will be uh, scaled so that people will be grouped. People of the right, people who are uh, the uh, uh, the uh, three groups we have, the people of the right, those people who are uh, uh, forerunners and the people of the left. And we will see that, inshallah, uh, while we are doing the uh, tafsir, inshallah. So, لَيْسَ لِوَقْعَتِهَا كَاذِبًا There is, so this uh, promise that Allah has subhanahu wa ta'ala promised is going to happen. So there is, at its occurrence, no denial. When it happens, no one can deny it. Okay. Those people who used to deny it in the dunya, they will be sure that there is a day of judgment when it happens. And at that time, they will know that what have we done? They will realize that they were losers. They will, do, they will realize that they were wrong. They will realize that they did something bad. خافضةٌ رافعة So at that time, on the day of judgment, there will be, it will bring the, down some people and it will raise up others. It will bring down those who delighted, it, those who did not believe in Allah, those who did not believe in the messengers, those, those who did not believe in the Quran and the uh, orders that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they did not fulfill the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it will rise up other people, the, it will rise up the believers, those who used to do their best to prepare for it. So they will be elevated, they will be raised up in the blessings that they will be finding in Jannah. So what will happen on that day? When the earth is shaken with convulsion, we know that the earth, we mentioned it earlier in uh, previous surahs when we explained uh, Juz'a uh, Amma, uh, the 30th Juz'a, we found out that the earth is fixed with mountains. The word rujat, to, to this verb is means, a raj is to shake things to keep shaking things until you take it out. So when there is a, um, a peg in the, in the ground and you wanna take it off, you don't just snatch it up. No, you shake it and then you take it. And that will make uh, taking it out easier. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, in Surah Al-Hajj, إِنَّ زَلْزَلَةَ السَّاعَةِ شَيْءٌ عَظِيمٌ 
indeed the convulsion of the hour is a terrible thing. Also, when the earth is shaken with its earthquake, so there will be a shake, there will be a huge shake on that day. And the mountains are broken down, crumbling. So what will happen to the mountains, to the steady fast mountains? that are holding the earth in place. So these mountains, they will become dust flying in the air. What does the word haba'an mean? If you look at the sun rays, you will see small particles flying in the air. And these particles, you cannot see them if there is no rays, uh, no sun rays. So the mountains will be broken down and they will become dust flying in the air. Same as these small particles that you see. So they will be flying in the air, in the air because uh, these, these mountains, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in Surah Al-Qari'ah, وَتَكُونُ الْجِبَالُ كَالْعِهْنِ الْمَنْفُوشِ So the mountains will be like wool fluffed up. Normally these small particles, they stay in the air, the ones that we see if we look at the sun rays, so they stay in the air, they fly in the air. Why? Because they don't have any weight that the gravity of the air would uh, uh, pull them down. The mountains will be the same. There will be dust flying in the air. وَكُنْتُمْ أَزْوَاجًا ثَلَاثَ So, and you people will become of three kinds. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us here that the people, will, uh, uh, first of all, he's telling us about the everything, what will happen to everything. And we, we, we saw earlier when in Surah Al-Shams, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, so the sun will be like a bowl and it will be thrown. So there will be no light for the sun. It will not be burning anymore. The, sun, the sky will, be, will split asunder. The, the uh, rivers, the, uh, uh, the sea, the oceans will, will, will have a blast. So there won't be anything but what happens to you people you will be one of, you will belong to one of the, the following three kinds, three types. So each one of you will belong to one of these groups. What are these groups? The companions of the right. And what do you know about the companions of the right? What are the companions of the right? Here, the repetition uh, tells us that there is something important. We have to pay attention to what is going to be said. It's not just repeating the words. Allah is attracting our attention to, to listen to what's going to be said. The people of the right, those are the people of the khair. So any person who has khair inside, his khair will be spread to him and to others. The benefit will be for him and for others. So if you have any khayr, just pass it to people. So everyone will enjoy that khayr. If you know something, if you, if you love Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam, share it with people so that people will have the same khayr. If you do good, tell people to do good so that everyone will have khayr. So... These are the people in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This group is فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ 
إني ظننت أني ملاق حسابية فهو في عيشة راضية في جنة عالية قطوفها دانية كلوا واشربوا هنيئا بما أسلفتم في الأيام الخالية So this is the people of the right. So as far for those who are given the record in the right hand, that, that person will say, here, read my record. Indeed, I was certain I would be held into account. So he will be in a pleasant life, in an elevated garden. It's a fruit to be picked hanging near. So they will eat and drink in satisfaction for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, guided them, has made them prepare for these past, for the past days that they lived in. They prepared themselves for the akhirah. So these are the people of, the people who receive the record in their right hand. Those are the ashabul yameen, ashabul maymana. But the other, the other uh, group is Ashabu Shimal. So this is the next. Wa Ashabu Shimal, ma Ashabu Shimal. And the people of the left. What are the people of the left? Again, we have when we want to know an explanation of an ayah, we take another ayah. We take that we, we we see what's been said in other ayahs, and we we see here. But for those who are given the records in in the uh, left hand. That pe that person will say, "Oh, I wish I had not been given." my record walam adri ma hisabiya i wish i hadn't known what is my account ya laytaha kanat al qadiya i wish my death had been the decisive one ma aghna anni maliya my wealth has not failed me halaka anni sultaniya my authority has failed me khuzuhu faghulluh Seize him in sh and chuckle him. Thumma fi silsilatin zar'uha sab'una dira'an fastuquh. Then into a chain whose length is 70 cubits, insert him. Innahu kana la yu'minu billahi al-azim. Indeed, he did not, he did not use to believe in Allah, the most great. So those are the people of the left. Now, what is the third group? And the forerunners, the forerunners, who are those forerunners? They used to hasten, to do, to fulfill Allah's order. Allah says something, something, then they would immediately do it. So now we have three groups. If we want to uh, or uh, order them from higher to lower, we will see as-sabiqun, as-sabiqun, the four runners, and below them there will be ashabul maymana, the people of the right. So below this ashabul maymana, we will have ashabu al-shimal, the people of the left. Now, someone uh, uh, since his early life is doing good. So now I'm going to differentiate a little bit between as sabiqun as sabiqun and ashab al yameen. So if someone since his early life he was doing good and he remained good until he and he will fulfill the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until he dies. So that person will be of as sabiqun. But what about the people of Ashab al -Yameen? Who is this group? These are someone who in early life did something bad and uh, they were not as good as the, uh, as the first categories. They, they, they who hastened to do everything on time to, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, the Ashab al -Yameen did some sins where, where a little bit bad their early life, but later 
they they repented and they became good people and they became they they uh, they wanted to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they wanted to do uh, what they uh, uh, they want to make it up for the time they did not they were not as good as they are they were now so we call these people ashabul yameen and we know Ashabu Shimal, the Ashabu Shimal are those who got, the, who uh, in all their lives, they used to do bad, bad deeds and they remained so until they died. So those are the people of Ashabu Shimal. And these are the three categories that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned at the beginning of the surah. And we are going to read more now about them during the surah. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, Let's talk about this group now. Those are the forerunners. Those are the ones who hasten to, to do whatever Allah wants, who, to, to fulfill the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, uh, and they are so quick in doing that. So who are those people? Those are the ones who brought near, those are the the uh, the ones who brought near. But near near what? All uh, all are getting into paradise. So what is this uh, near? Each in his own garden, enjoying the countless blessings that Allah has prepared for him. But what are they brought near to? Muqarrabun to the throne. This is the level that we are all working for, to be as-sabiqoon, as-sabiqoon. As-sabiqoon are those people who compete, who compete to do good deeds. And they are, uh, they in, and they win and they, uh, they, uh, they win their companions. So who are those? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Mutafifin, وَفِي ذَلِكَ فَلْيَتَنَافَسِ الْمُتَنَافِسُونَ So for that, let the competitors compete. What is, what is let the competitors compete? How, how can we understand this? The companions at the time of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to ask each other, how many rakahs did you pray at night? How many days have you fasted this week? How many ayahs have you memorized? How many khatams did you finish? This is the way that they used to, uh, uh, to compete with. They don't compete in dunya. This lady bought a ring, I'm going to buy a better ring. This lady had a house, I'm going to try to get a better house. So this is not the competition. The real competition is to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us to do. The real competition is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The real competition is to wake up at night to wait, to pray to rakahs when all people are, are sleeping. The real competition is to go on do, getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to say the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to, to, to make istighfar, to send the salawat to say the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the, uh, how people, how right people compete even if you notice that when there is uh, when someone dies they say that the, the janaza was going fast what does this mean they say that when a person dies uh, he will see uh, his his position will it be in Jannah or in, in uh, hellfire? If it's in Jannah, he will say, "Qaddimuni, qaddimuni, please don't delay me, don't delay me, don't make me wait for the blessings that I'm going to enjoy." And that's why they say the janaza was going fast. They, uh, Subhanallah. So so what this happened when this happened? They don't want to get delayed from getting the reward and those people who are uh, who die such a peaceful death you will see if the if you look at their faces when they die you will see that they are smiling so they they saw what is waiting for them 
And that's why you see, subhanAllah, his face was radiant. SubhanAllah, his face became more beautiful. So this is what it means to have, to be of the group, wassabiqoon as sabiqoon. We are still now, this is the dunya level. So what will happen to them? What will happen in the, in the day after? So we said they will brought near, near the throne. They will be fi jannati naim. They will be in the gardens, in the gardens of pleasure. Thullatun min al awwalin wa qalilun min al akhirin. There will be a large group. Thulla means a big group, large group. A large group of the former people and a few of the later people. What does this mean? At the time of Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, the companions were so many and a lot of them were of the people of Jannah. So this is a big group of the former people that are going to Jannah. But in our days, what happened? Dunya became uh, stronger, had stronger effect on people. The, uh, everything uh, in this dunya, more attachment to dunya, more... So people became less, and a few people of the later people, the, uh, because those people uh, uh, were, for, were going into the uh, affairs where uh, more dunya was involved to them. So this was what happened. This was what they faced. Now, but again, Allah Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, was merciful to his ummah. And he said, the people at the last of the days, they, the, the one who is on the right path will be as if he is holding a piece of coal in his hand. So much dunya to avoid, so much, so much of the uh, uh, hinges so much of the uh, obstacles that we have to uh, to be to cross so to be of the sabiqun as sabiqun so thullatun min al awwalin wa qalilun min al akhirin what happens to them ala sururin mawduna so those people will be on high beds Woven with ornaments. Mauduna is the uh, the uh, strings that they were made of are made of gold. So imagine the beauty of the uh, beds that we will be on, inshallah. Muttaki'ina alayha mutaqabilin. So they are reclining on their high beds and they're fit, facing each other. They feel happy to see each other. So they would they would say, oh, we used to compete in dunya for, we used to be, to compete in how much ibadah we used to do. And never, they never had any bad intention that they are doing this just to show off, never. It's just for the akhirah. It's just for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muttaki'ina alayha mutaqabilin. Yatufu alayhim wildanun mukhalladun. So they will circulate among them young boys made eternal. And they are nice, kind people, boys, kind boys who do not get older. And they will be serving the people of Jannah. And even, by the way, even the people of Jannah will not, will not, uh, will always be age, and they will, not, uh, will always be young. They will not, they will not age. So yatufu alayhim wildan muhalladun. Young boys will circulate among them. With what? بأكواب وأباريق وكأس من معين. We have three things here. 
vessels, pitchers, and cups from flowing spring. Now let's uh, talk about the three types first and see what's the difference. So a quab is plural, the singular is kub. And kub is the glass that we drink from or the container that we drink from, which does not have a handle and it doesn't have a place to pour from and, uh, uh, on the other side. So this is the kub. The ibriq, the ibriq is a pitcher that has a handle you will hold it from, and it has a place where uh, to to uh, to make the water go out of it. So there will be a, 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 a so we call this a pitcher. Al kaas, al kaas is. Uh, uh, a kas should be should be full to call it kas. When it's empty, we do not we do not call it kas. So now, so we have bi akwabin wa abariqa wa kasin ma'in. Al ma'in huwa al ma'u al jari, the flowing water. Now, when we say the word kas. The word ka'as is always used to drink wine in, in it. But what type of wine is it? لا يصبعون عنها ولا ينزفون No headache will they have therein from, nor they will be intoxicated. When they drink, this wine that Allah has prepared for them, for the winners in the Akhirah, they will not have a headache. The word yasabbaun or the word sudar in Arabic is a headache. And when someone has a headache, it's, it will turn his day up and up and down it will be so bad for the person who has a headache he will, he will not enjoy anything he will feel so uh, the the physical state will be so upset so headache is terrible but the the uh, uh, the drink that this wine that they will drink it will not cause vomit, uh, it will not cause headaches. So now we are know we know for sure that we are talking about wine, and there is a difference between the wine of the akhirah and the wine of dunya. The wine of the akhirah does not cause headache, does not cause vomiting. So yanzifun. They don't vomit because when when people drink wine in dunya, first of all, the, the cups of wine are so small and they drink the shot just very quickly because it's not tasty. So they drink it quickly and normally it causes problems uh, to the stomach problems to the liver, problems to the, uh, the it will cause headache, uh, and uh, it, it will cause the uh, intellect to, to be unaware. So the person would be uh, violent, the person would be uh, hitting, cursing, uh, um, uh, people will fear him, and when he walks, he will walk right and left. So it's terrible. But the khamar of the akhirah, the khamar of the akhirah is different. Why would, why would people drink wine in dunya? As we said, wine will cause their, the intellect, just it, it will cause a person to be unaware of what's going on. And people have so many things that uh, 
worry them, that that will make them uh, upset. So when they drink the wine, they will stop their intellect, their minds from thinking about their problems. So they will enjoy that uh, thinking free time for a short period of time, but they will suffer long after it. Whereas Islam protects us. Islam does not want this, the, the, these terrible things to happen to us. So when, when someone has a problem, he has to think about it. He has, where did this problem come from? What's the reason of this problem? How can I find solutions and resolutions for this problem until he gets out of the problem? So he doesn't just want something to veil his mind, not to think about it. No, that's not the way to, to get out of problems of dunya. And there are so many countless problems in this dunya. Whereas the khamru of the akhirah, the khamru of the akhirah, the wine of the akhirah is described in Surah Muhammad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَنْهَارٌ مِنْ خَمْرٍ لَذَّةٍ لِلشَّارِبِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared rivers of wine, delicious to those who drink them. So this is what the young boys are circulating, cups and Pictures of wine. وَفَاكِهَةٍ مِمَّا يَتَخَيَّرُونَ And there will be fruits of what they select. They, they would think of something and it will come near to them and they will pick it up. But there is a difference between what they have in dunya in taste and what they have in the akhirah. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says, كُلَّمَا رُزِقُوا مِنْهَا مِنْ تَمَرَةٍ رِزْقًا قَالُوا هَذَا الَّذِي رُزِقْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِ وَأُتُوا بِهِ مُتَشَابِهَا Whenever they are provided with a provision of fruit they're from, they will say, this is what we, what we were provided with before. This is what we have in dunya. Here's a mango and there is a mango. We ate mango. And it's given to them in likeness only. But the taste is nothing they knew of. So they know this is a mango, and but they, when they eat it, it's completely different than the taste they had in dunya. So now they they started their meal with the fakiha, with the fruits, and then they will be provided with the meat and do this in dunya. Try to eat fruits before you eat your main dish. And the meat of fowl, the meat of birds, the meat of delicious this delicious meat that they will be provided in the Akhirah from whatever they desire, whatever they think of, they will come to them. Whatever they will have in mind, it will be slaughtered. What do they want it? Roasted? Do they want it uh, uh, baked? Well, whatever they have in mind, it will be just on plates provi uh, provided to them. Now they had wine, they had uh, uh, fruits, they had meat. This is extra now. And from them are fair women with large, beautiful eyes. So their eyes are so beautiful. They are large eyes. The blackness of the eye is super black. The whiteness of the eye is super white. And this is one of the best, most beautiful 
uh, eyes you can find. Uh, the poet says, إن العيون التي في طرفها حور قتلنا ثم لم يحيينا قتلنا. So the eyes that have حور وحور العين. So the eyes have this special beauty, which is darkness of the black and the whiteness of the white. It's very very uh, charming. So these these types of eyes, when you look at them, you feel as if they kill you with their beauty. وحور عين كأمثال اللؤلؤ المكنون. So the likeness of pearls, well protected. So everything Allah has created, perfected. And the boundless bounties that the the countless bounties that they will have in the day of judgment is something that no one can think of, no one have heard of, no one no one can even imagine. Why would they have that? Jazaan bima kanu yamalun. So this is a reward for what they used to do. This is a reward for that what they, uh, how they used to fulfill the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those are al-sadiqoon, al-sadiqoon, who hastened to do everything Allah wanted and quickly. They, they wanted to fulfill the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quickly, as soon as they can. لا يسمعون فيها لهوا ولا تأثيما. They will not hear therein ill speech nor commission of sin. Allahu, what does love mean? Lahu is the uh, just the mere words that no khair meant. Just, just, just talking. They will not hear such a thing in Jannah. ولا تأثيما and no one is going to have any sin in Jannah. They will not, they will not hear any bad words in Jannah. إلا قيلا سلاما سلاما but they will only hear the, the phrase سلام peace, peace. They will greet each other. People of Jinnah will greet each other with, with peace. The angels will greet them with peace. Salam. And the highest honor and the most pleasing thing is what was mentioned in Surah Yasin when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, will say to people, Salam. And we always read it in Surah Yasin when we say Salam on Qawlan min Rabbi Rahim. This word Salam is, is the word that will be said by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly to those people. Salam. And that's why there are so many uh, Arabs who name their daughters, their babies, Salam. It's the peace word that Allah will greet his people in the day of judgment. So this is the first group that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the first part of Surah Al-Waqi'ah. So those are As-Sabiqoon, as -sabiqoon, the ones who hasten, the ones who want to do whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very quickly. Those are the forerunners to fulfill the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now if we move to the second if we move to the second group, those are the group of Ashabul Yameen. And we mentioned 
we mentioned that uh, in uh, uh, the difference between as-sabiqoon, as-sabiqoon, and ashab al-yameen, as-sabiqoon, as-sabiqoon, are the people who, who, who do good from early life till their death. And the people of ashab al-yameen are those who used to do good and bad at the beginning of their life, but then they repented and used to do everything good. So what is this group now? Wa ashab al-yameen ma ashab al-yameen. So these are the companions of the right. What are the companions of the right? Again, Allah has repeated this, this, this word, these two words, just to get our attention to what he is going to say. So they will be among loot tree with Thrones removed. We know the Zizifus, uh, Fine, Christi, they call it in Arabic, and Nabaq. The, the, the uh, fruit of this tree is huge, it's very big, and uh, it's so delicious when it is ripe. But what's the difference between between it and uh, uh, between the, what we will find in Akhira is the thrones are removed. What, what does, why, why would it have thrones in the dunya? So that the, uh, the mice and the worms would not uh, crawl up and eat it. So it's a protection in dunya. So أصحاب اليمين ما أصحاب اليمين في وأصحاب اليمين ما أصحاب اليمين في سدر مخبوض وطلح منضود. It says a طلح is the banana. So وطلح منضود and banana trees layered with fruit. And if you look, uh, if you look at the, uh, if you if you look at the banana tree, you will see the uh, uh, from from one the shape the shape of the tree is so attractive. The fruits are facing each others. The leaves are facing each others. It's different from any other tree. ممدود. There will be shed, there will be extended shed. So uh, the will will be the shade, the shade of the, uh, uh, in the Akhira, the shade of the trees will be extended. You won't see something, uh, a place where it is very heavily warm, and uh, uh, so sunny, you cannot sit in it, the high temperature. No, there will be shade everywhere. The shade is extended. in miskub, and water poured out. And as I mentioned earlier, we just know the name, but the taste will be different. وَفَاكِهَةٍ كَثِيرَةٍ لَا مَقْطُوعَةٍ وَلَا مَمْنُوعَةٍ And there will be fruits in abundance. There will be lots of variation. لَا مَقْطُوعَةٍ وَلَا مَمْنُوعَةٍ Neither limited to season, nor forbidden for people to eat. So there will be there will be lots of things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for the second group of people. وَفُرُشٍ مَرْفُوعًا And there will be raised, there will be beds raised high. Again, imagine, imagine the, everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for for the people of Jannah. And I'm sure we are all longing to be there now. 
I think we will stop here, inshallah, and we will continue next week. Wassalamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Ya Rabbana laka alhamdu kana yambaghi li jalali wa shika wa adhimi sultanik. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.